NAIA Terminal 1, also known as the Old Manila International Airport, was constructed in the late 1970s and opened for operations on May 1, 1981. It was originally designed to handle both domestic and international flights, but after the completion of NAIA Terminal 2, Centennial Terminal, in 1999, Terminal 1 was primarily dedicated to international flights. Manila International Airport, also known as Nino Aquino International Airport NAIA, serves as the primary gateway to the Philippines. It's a bustling hub located in Pasay City, Metro Manila, offering domestic and international flights. Despite being the busiest airport in the Philippines, it has faced challenges such as congestion and infrastructure limitations. Manila International Airport, or NAIA, features a mix of architectural styles reflecting its history of development. The airport consists of four terminals, Terminal 1, Terminal 2, also known as the Centennial Terminal, Terminal 3, and Terminal 4, formerly known as the Domestic Terminal. Terminal 1 has a somewhat dated design, characterized by its large, sweeping roof structures and spacious interior. Terminal 2, designed by Filipino architect Leandro V. Loxon, showcases modernist architecture with its distinctive swooping rooflines and open spaces. Terminal 3, the newest and largest terminal, boasts a more contemporary design with sleek lines and expansive glass facades, offering a brighter and more airy atmosphere. Terminal 4, although smaller in scale, has a functional design optimized for domestic flights. Overall, while each terminal varies in design, together they form a vital part of Manila's transportation infrastructure, albeit with ongoing efforts to improve capacity and passenger experience. Nino Aquino International Airport NAIA, Terminal 1, located in Manila, Philippines, serves many international flights and is equipped with various services to ensure a smooth travel experience. Here's a detailed description focusing on luggage and services. Luggage services at NAIA Terminal 1, baggage claim, after disembarking, passengers proceed to the baggage claim area where luggage is delivered via conveyor belts. The area is clearly marked and equipped with multiple carousels to handle high passenger volumes, baggage assistance. Porters are available to assist with luggage for a fee. They can help with transporting bags from the baggage claim area to the exit or transportation options, baggage trolleys. Complementary luggage trolleys are available throughout the terminal, including near the baggage claim area and check-in counters, lost and found, a dedicated lost and found office handles inquiries and claims for lost luggage or items. Passengers can report lost items and receive assistance in tracking and retrieving them, luggage wrapping. A dedicated lost and found office handles inquiries and claims for lost luggage or items. Passengers can report lost items and receive assistance in tracking and retrieving them, luggage wrapping. For added security, luggage wrapping services are available. This service helps protect baggage from damage, tampering, and theft. Left luggage, there is a luggage storage facility where passengers can leave their bags for a short period. This service is convenient for travelers who have a long layout.
The terminal features a variety of dining options, ranging from fast food outlets to sit-down restaurants, offering local and international cuisines. Shopping, duty-free shops and retail stores are available, selling a range of products including electronics, cosmetics, souvenirs, and more, lounges. Several lounges provide a comfortable environment for relaxation and refreshments. Access may be granted through airline status, lounge membership programs, or pay-per-use options. Free Wi-Fi, complimentary Wi-Fi is available throughout the terminal, ensuring passengers can stay connected. Medical Services